Hey everybody, Zian over here from Nintendo Life. Now I just got a hold of a Nintendo Switch OLED. And I've got to say, this thing is absolutely beautiful. But upon booting it up, I felt a little iffy about the screen. I've been seeing people on Twitter freak out nonstop about it, talking about how beautiful it is. Even our very own Damien McFerrin, who wrote up the review for the Nintendo Switch OLED for us, was ranting and raving about it. And after booting it up, like I said, it just didn't look as amazing as everyone led me to believe it would be. The screen brightness was a little more dim than my standard Switch, and this was because I was comparing it straight to it. And then the contrast was also so sharp and in your face, it almost, it kind of, it was uncomfortable to look at. And thankfully, I found a fix to both of these issues. And not only are they both super simple and easy to change, but one of them is a brand new feature for the Nintendo Switch OLED. So let's go ahead and see exactly Exactly what I did. So here on the bottom, we have a Nintendo Switch Animal Crossing system, the one with the better battery life. And then on the top, we have a Nintendo Switch OLED right out of the box. Now, if you go ahead and compare the two screens, you'll notice that the top screen, the OLED one, is actually quite a bit dimmer than the bottom standard Switch screen. Now to fix this, if you hold down the home button, you can pull up like a quick menu on the side here that allows you to adjust the brightness. And now you'll notice that the brightness can't be moved up anymore. But if you turn off the auto brightness setting, that will allow the switch to hit its maximum brightness setting. Now with OLED screens, you do run the risk of burn in. So little static images that don't move around on screen like a HUD or even just your home menu, things like that can be potentially burned into the screen if you leave those images on the screen for too long, especially if you have the brightness turned up. So please turn up your brightness with caution. Maybe it's best to just leave the auto brightness on, but if you want more brightness out of your screen, you can turn it up this way. Just be cautious. But even so, once I got to this point, I still thought that the screens were fairly different. The contrast seemed like it was hiked up considerably, almost so much that my eyes didn't have fun looking at it. It may be a bit hard to notice on the screens here, but if you happen to own a Switch OLED and you feel this way yourself, here's the fix. Make sure you're on your home menu and head down to the little gear that says system settings. From there, you'll want to scroll all the way down until you actually hit the system section. Then go ahead and click that and scroll down until you see the option that says console screen colors. You'll notice that the option that's selected is vivid. You'll want to change that to standard and you'll notice that the screen looks a lot more normal, a bit more soft on the eyes. Now, not everybody is going to want to change up these color options, and depending on the game that you're playing, you may actually want to change it back to Vivid. And don't worry, I will change my theme back to the dark theme as well. I just switched it to the light theme so that way everybody could see exactly what I saw when I booted up the OLED. So don't worry. Be sure to let us know in the comments down below if you just bought a Switch OLED for yourself and you're experiencing these same kind of feelings, you thought that the colors were a little harsh, and let us know if this helped you out. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this, then why don't you go ahead and change the console color screen of that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we put up a new video. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm Zian from Nintendo Life. Stay safe out there. Go play some Metroid Dread this weekend and we will see you next time. Oh, what?